Hi, I'm Nora for eNotes.com, and welcome to the video study guide for Yann Martel's Life of Pi. Introduction. What if everything and everyone you knew had blown up and you were left alone on a life raft? That's the first question facing the main character in Life of Pi, a novel about a very special young man, Pi, in a very special situation. Now add to that question two twists. Twist number one. Pi was hardly your average teenager before the ship taking his family from India to Canada blew up. First, he was deeply involved in religion. Pi studied Hinduism, Islam, and Catholicism, and sought in each a road to the divine. Second, he was the son of a zookeeper and deeply interested in biology. This meant that even before being stranded, Pi already had many reasons to think about what it means to be human and which route to take to truth. Twist number two. Pi was not alone on that life raft. Oh, there weren't any other humans, but somehow a zebra, a hyena, and an orangutan were there, along with Richard Parker, who just happened to be a 450-pound Bengal tiger. Now the situation is complete, and the questions can really start. What would you do if you were stuck on a life raft with a hungry tiger? Would you be smart enough to survive? And what would that do to your faith? In Life of Pi, author Yann Martel answers those questions by following young Pi through starvation, blindness, isolation, storms, and a hundred other hardships, all of which are described with a vivid intensity that will leave you feeling like you've just visited an alien land, a land of terrifying magic where you don't know what's real or whom you can trust, even yourself. 